In this episode, we're talking why do agents take overpriced listings and do I have any cash buyers? You ask real estate questions and I answer them. This is the Ask Daniel Los Angeles Show. Welcome everybody to episode 14 of the Ask Daniel Los Angeles Show. Let's get to that first question. Rob and Sarah ask, the buyers asked if they could start moving into my house the day before we close escrow. What do you think? Should we let them? Absolutely no. Do not let them move in under any circumstances because you technically still own the house. So if they move in, they break their leg, they set fire in the backyard and the house completely burns up, guess what? That's your house that burned up, not their house. And they're gonna back out of the deal at the very, very last day. Yeah, they'll lose their, their deposit money, but who cares? They're not gonna buy a burned down house, right? They'd rather lose that deposit money. So absolutely not. Do not give them the keys. Do not give them permission to come onto the property. Do not do anything about, about letting them come onto your property. So once you finally close escrow, they can do whatever they want. It's their property at that point. Jake asks, I talked to a couple of different real estate agents and they all had different opinions on what my home is worth. Who do I believe? Hey Jake, well, I think the person you should believe is yourself. You know, these agents are gonna give you some data and as far as what's selling in your neighborhood, look at the data and you know, you're, you're a smart guy, determine what the home is worth based off of the data that they're giving you. Look at the pictures of the other homes that are sold and figure out, does this home look like mine? The interior, the exterior? Yes, it does. Okay, what about the square footage? You gotta look at all that and determine what you think the property is worth and then take their opinions into consideration as well. You gotta be careful because some agents, they'll just give you a high number just so that they can get the listing. And they, they'll take whatever listing because then they can put their sign in your front yard. People call that sign and then they recruit buyers that way. So whether or not they sell your property doesn't really matter because you're just allowing them to put a free billboard ad in your front yard. They get all the calls, they get business from, from those calls, and it really doesn't matter if your property sold or not. So I know some agents that'll take a listing no matter what the price is. They'll, they'll tell you whatever you wanna hear instead of telling you the truth just so that they can do that strategy. So be careful with that. But analyze the data and you know you can, you can figure it out yourself. You just gotta look very carefully at all the numbers. Stan asks, do you have a cash buyer? I wanna sell my home fast as is condition and to a cash buyer. When you say I only wanna to sell to a cash buyer, that scares me a little bit because now you're limiting the market. You're gonna be basically selling to an investor most likely and guess what? They want a discount. So you're not gonna get top dollar for your property, that's for sure. Why would a cash buyer pay absolute top dollar for a place? The answer is they don't. They always want a little bit of a discount. Um, so what I suggest you do is you, you market the property to everybody, even people who need to get a loan in order to buy your place. That's how you're gonna get top dollar. But to answer your questions, do I have cash buyers? Of course I have cash buyers. I'm a cash buyer. What kind of property are you selling? Sandra asks, I called seven agents to help me find a house for rent. I received zero calls back. Why don't real estate agents want to help me find a place to rent? Hey, Sandra, that's a great question. So let's do the math on this one. Let's say you rent a $3,000 a month home and per year, that's going to come out to $36,000. Your agent will get in commission 3% of that $36,000, which is $1,080. That's to help you find a rental. Now let's say they have a buyer and the buyer's looking for a property 600,000, which is pretty average around here. And they sell them a house, 3% of that is gonna be $18,000. So to take you around to find a rental property, you're probably gonna wanna see five, six, seven places, whatever the case might be, they're gonna make $1,080. To take out the other client that's looking to buy a place, they're gonna see five, six, seven, eight houses, and they're gonna make an $18,000 commission. 
what would you do? So don't be shocked if agents aren't calling you back. There's just not enough money in it for the real estate agents to help you out in any way. And that's why you're not getting your phone calls returned to you. So what I suggest you do is you go on apartments.com, um, Craigslist, uh, Zillow, all those, all those places, they put rentals on there and you're going to have to be your own real estate agent. You're gonna have to call those management companies up, set up appointments, go see it and do the negotiation yourselves. Uh, sorry to tell you that, but that's just how it is. That's it for episode 14 of the Ask Daniel Los Angeles show. Please ask me your real estate questions. I want to answer them at Daniel Los Angeles is where you're going to find me on Instagram. You keep asking real estate questions and I'll keep answering them.